Hello, the Wyo terminal is a SAM D51 based microcontroller with wireless connectivity compatible with Arduino and MicroPython. It runs at 120 MHz, 4 MB external flash and 192 KB RAM. The Wyo terminal itself is equipped with a 2.4 LC, uh, inch LCD screen, onboard, onboard accelerometer, microphone, buzzer, micro SD card slot, next light sensor, and infrared emitter. Also, it has three buttons one five way switch joystick, and one reset switch. It supports both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi providing Blackburn for IoT projects. There is also a 40-pin connector on the back that connects external components and module. Uh, this time I will show you how to connect and install this small but powerful device on Arduino IDE as well as the basic steps on how to upload program on it. We need to install Arduino IDE software. Next click on File, Preferences and copy uh, this URL, given URL to Additional Boards Manager URLs and OK. Now click on Tools, Board, Boards Manager. In Boards Manager we need to search Wyo Terminal. And now we need to install wire terminal. Now in the tools, boards menu, we need to choose SysStudio Wio terminal. This time I will describe a simple way to turn this device into a small two-channel oscilloscope. An oscilloscope is a highly useful electronic test instrument used for visualizing and analyzing electrical signals over time. It provides a graphical representation of electrical waveforms, making it, in, making it a crucial tool for, for engineers, technicians and scientists working with electronic circuits and systems. The original firmware was developed for the PIC24 microcontroller with a built-in and a high speed ADC and the LCD display with a touch panel and can be operated by touching the screen. This is the ported version for Wyo terminal and now the device is controlled through the built-in buttons. Uh, otherwise, the device is extremely simple to make and in addition to the wire terminal, we only need two more connectors for the input signal. Specifically, I used RCA type of connectors. Channel 1 is connected to pin 13 uh, or A0 or BCM27 and channel 2 is connected to pin 15 or a1 or BCM22 of wire terminal and ground. Now I will describe the installation method because it is a bit unusual. For this purpose we need to download the XFlash loader library for, from the given link. Uh, then we put a FAT32 uh, formatted micro SD card in the wire terminal in which we need to open a folder named apps and in that folder we put the given firmware files. Next we need to install the XFlash loader library and in Arduino ID in examples we need to open the right sample menu sketch. Uh, now we need uh, to install this sketch on Wyo terminal in the way I described earlier in the video. That completes the installation and we need to start the program. This is done by holding down the A button and restarting the terminal and then releasing the button.
and this is the scope. Now scope is up and running and we can start testing. The yellow line is channel 1 and the blue line is channel 2. For the sinusoidal signal source I will use my old tone generator. Uh, for other shapes I will use the signal generator contained in my FNI RSA scope. The signal amplitude of this generator is slightly higher than 3.3 volts, so the signal is distorted on the lower side. It is necessary to put a potentiometer or voltage divider at the output of the generator. And finally I put signals on both channels. The software also contains a source of sine and square signals on pins 3, BCM2 and 11, BCM17, so if we connect the inputs to these pins, we get corresponding curves on the screen for both channels without using an external signal source. This is a particularly a uh, useful option when using the scope for educational purposes. And finally, a short conclusion. While terminal ADC is not very fast, so 
Uh, this device has almost no practical use, but it is therefore simple, inexpensive and very good for studying the way uh, this type of instruments works, as well as its adjustments, especially because of the extremely professionally made graphic interface. I made a small plastic holder to which the wire terminal is attached with the help of two small nuts.